Now this is how you test your coil. You can do this on the bike, it doesn't matter where you are. But the first of all, you set this to 200. Just 200, okay? 200 ohms. You get your earth cable. And make sure it's earthed on the body itself. Good earth. And then your positive cable, you're testing the primary coil, okay, which is this just flyly. This is off an RV125, so it's exactly the same. So earth goes to earth on the 200 ohms. Then you're testing this, and you should have a read in then of under 5, oh, five ohms. 2.8, sorry, if I can move that over. So you've got 2.8, 2.7, which is great, that's perfect. Decent reading, so that primary coil is good. Now we want to test the secondary coil, because there's two windings in here, the secondary coil. Now if you test it with the suppressor cap on, this suppressor cap is actually a resistor. You get a different reading, so watch. I pop that in then, sorry, I need to then, sorry, beg your pardon, put this on 200k. Okay, so it's on 200k ohms. Pop this in here now. I get a reading of 12.5, which is a little bit high. But if I take this off, so let me screw it on gently, and do a reading now, I'm going to get a proper reading of 8.1. So there's a difference there, a four ohm, just over 4 ohms of difference by using the suppressor cap. So that's how you test it, okay? This is a good coil. This is what happens when you have a bad coil. Another RV125 coil. Same again, connect it up to the earth, make sure the earth is half decent. Set it to 200 ohms. Three point two point nine two point eight. So that's great, so the primary is working in that. But if I now put that to 200 to test the secondary, Nothing. Totally dead. So although the primary coil is working, the secondary coil is not working on this one, okay?